Hello. Let's continue. In our last video, we just downloaded the softwares for setup development environment. And uh, this video, we just uh, write a simple application uh, or project to demo. Everything is ready to go. Okay, so now let's continue. Um, okay, first we have to in order to write our project, we open the IntelliJ. Okay. Okay. And uh, let's wait. We create a new project. Mm. <coughs> and uh, Oh, we can create a simple project or we also can create from archetype for this uh, pro for this applic project that uh, test our environment I want to create from archetype okay uh, same archetype is think you can think as a template okay which has a basic project structure uh, for us and definitely you can create everything from scratch by yourself um, and the archetype we're gonna using is this one Maven archetype web app that's what we're gonna use okay next and we can create a name let's using uh, first servlet demo okay then uh, next here you can change the group ID and others. It's used for the palm. Okay, like I change this one. It doesn't matter if you don't change. And the finish and let's wait. And you have to it has to download the template and uh, re um, like a for uh, for those default values, like uh, this uh, default value, it will change it to be what we just uh, set. We have to wait for a little bit until every the downloading and everything is ready. We can continue. Okay, download successful, and uh, this is uh, what what's being downloaded. You already has a poem okay from pom you can add dependencies and others and uh, this is a gsp you, you uh you we will talk about it later but now what you can see here is just html information right html and the web, web app has a web.xml uh, starting from um, serverlet i think 3.0 uh, web.xml is not required but anyway we are done. We don't do anything. And here uh, in desktop GSP is a hello world. And now what we can do is just for test uh, the environment is good, right? What we can do, uh, do nothing. Okay. Okay. We can, you can go to uh, <coughs> next step is for a web application. Okay. Uh, they have to have some container to host this application and uh, it itself doesn't have any entry point there is no main method in the web in the project because it's not the it's for listening for the browser's connection it's not the task of the servlet which is our project we wrote it's uh, for the container which is tomcat do you remember so our project will deploy into the tomcat and the tomcat will maintain everything for us so we just do now we will deploy to the tomcat to make sure it works our environment works then we can continue so here tomcat using local <coughs> And we can do a configuration. I already did. Let me delete, remove. Okay. Uh, if from scratch, it's gonna be look like this way. Okay. 
and uh, we can config and uh, he will, will say tomcat home okay then you go and uh, to select where your tomcat is do you remember in the downloads we extract the tomcat right we just open this one and uh, click ok and uh, this one is configured successfully let me remove this one ok so just configure like this way and the other port number uh, you can leave it as default next step is go to deployment and here you have to tell when I start uh, uh, the Tomcat which application should I deploy to a server so far here is nothing and we can do is artifact is one of them this one is a compressed version this one is a decompressed version each version is fine uh, apply ok and now you can run when I run Tomcat it will also deploy the first server this demo project into uh, uh, the web container which is Tomcat <coughs> and now uh, you will see Oh, sorry. this is uh, automatically opened in the browser and uh, this is our uh, host name and the port number is 8080 this is our uh, context root and uh, this URL is actually set up here this one which means that when Tomcat is started successfully it will launch this URL in the browser is Chrome that's why it automatically open Chrome for me and where is this hello world by default it's already configured in Tomcat by default <coughs> uh, it will have a welcome list and it will looking for if you have index.html index.jsp and here I have index.jsp so even though I didn't do anything but when I go to the root for this project, this is a root. It will display index.jsp for us, and you see hello world. If I make change here, okay, then I redeploy. You will see a uh, deploy successfully. Then uh, we go here and uh, refresh you will see everything that it's been changed okay and uh, this is uh, <clears throat> a very simple project to demo every our environment is ready to develop a dynamic uh, servlet application okay so uh, that's it for this video and i started from next video we'll talk about the servlet okay uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you can set up your environment uh, successfully. Bye-bye. Mm, thank you.